What's going on everybody? Dr. Chaos here, aka The Doctor, and welcome to something a little bit different. Now, like I said in my last video, I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a video. I told you there's going to be... Actually, I don't know if I told you or not. Oh well. Anyways, there's going to be different content on this channel, and I'm, I've kind of gotten to the point where I can talk without feeling nervous and everything. I've kind of sort of got over that. I mean, there's still a little bit of me that is like, eh, they might not like if you say this, but if you don't like it, I mean, all you got to do is not watch. You know what I mean? But I know a lot, of, but anyways, in this video, we're actually going to watch a trailer for a video game. And I'm not going to, it's sort of like a reaction video in a way, because I'm going to do the trailer and then I'm going to talk to you about the trailer. And I know a lot of people have actually already seen this trailer. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this trailer. Is it good? I don't know. Is it bad? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But, you know, let, let's just go ahead and watch it and then we can talk about it afterwards. So that was pretty cool. Now this trailer is obviously from Game News, which I'm gonna put their link in the description below to their channel. Um, I don't really know anything about them. Mostly, this was the only trailer for some reason I could find that didn't already have somebody reviewing it. I don't know why, but anyways, so 
you know, obviously if they get, you know, mad that I use this trailer, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not using it for any big purpose. I'm just using it, you know, to talk about it. Anyways, <clears throat> so what do I think? Story mode wise, this could be amazing. This could really be one of the best Call of Duty story modes ever to be created. Why do I say that? Well, because most of the time in Call of Duty story modes you have ground play and you have jet play. That's usually the two that you get. You usually have a bunch of missions on the ground and one or two in a jet. And that's usually how far it goes. Maybe some missions in a helicopter, you know, maybe. I can't remember if there's one in a helicopter or not. I know in Modern Warfare 2 you're chasing a helicopter. But I don't think you actually had one where you fly one, I don't believe. But anyways, um, um, damn, um, oh yeah, so if you actually get to fly a jet, or whatever, a ship or whatever to space, and then you get to actually fight in space and all that, it provides a whole new atmosphere, a whole new area, a whole new, really everything for the game. So it could be literally an amazing storyline if they don't screw it up. Now, a lot of people are like, who gives a shit about the storyline? I don't care about it. That's stupid. Who cares about the storyline of Call of Duty? You don't buy Call of Duty to play storyline. You play. You get it to play multiplayer. I can understand your point of view on that. Me, I don't get it for the multiplayer. I mean, yeah, I, I'll buy it and I'll play the multiplayer. But I get it for the story mode. That's the reason why I buy any game. If it doesn't have a good story mode, I usually won't buy it. That's usually how it goes. Call of Duty games, I buy them, and the first thing I do is I play story mode. And then I play multiplayer. And I usually don't play them online because by the time you buy it, get it home, finish the story mode, even, in, even if it only takes you about a day, maybe a day and a half, finish the story mode, and then you go to multiplayer... There's already somebody hacking the servers, or somebody all. There's already somebody that's MLG Pro at it, and I mean you can literally buy the game, stand in line, buy the game. When it comes out, come home, stick it in your console, and there's already somebody MLG on there. That's how it always is. I don't normally like playing Call of Duty online just because of that reason. I understand, you know, oh, you know, it's fun to play online, you know, it's fun to play with people where you get killed, you get better. It's hard to get better if you get killed every time you spawn. And that's normally what happens to me. Yeah, you can call me a sucky player or whatever, that's fine. And I'll agree with you. I kind of do suck. I mean, I suck online. I really do. I, I mean, I'll have little bitty kids that are like six or seven just sniping the shit out of me nonstop. I mean, there was one time, I wish I had a recording of it. Uh, where I played on that, um, di not dining. Um, it's the one with the, the the outside cinema. I can't remember what map it was and what Call of Duty game it was, but somebody literally spawned, looked through their scope, s shot through the windows of a jeep, and shot through that little bitty hole in the cinema that you can use to snipe through, and shot me through that. They had no viewpoint on me. There was no way they could have seen me. I didn't even know where I was on their screen. And they sniped me one shot, one kill. In the head. And the guy that did it, he couldn't have been more, couldn't have been any older than 15. I mean, it was a young guy. And that's the reason why I don't play online. I mean, the only thing that sucks more than that is playing bots on veteran mode. And trust me, you're not going to have that much fun. But, and like I said, it could be just because I suck, but I like couch play. I mean, I just, that's what I do. I like split screen couch play. Me, my wife, uh, my sister, or me and my friends, whatever it may be. I like that. I like that. I mean, there's no wor there's no wondering, oh man, is it going to lag? Oh man, is my internet going good? Is, is everything going great? Uh, is my connection too fast? Is, or something not too fast? What the hell am I talking about? Is my connection too slow or anything like that? I don't have to worry about that on couch play. It's just like, get your controller, go, play. And I hope they stick to the Black Ops Three. I know it's, I know it's a, I, I believe it's a different developer this time. 
It's Infinity Ward this time. I think it was Activision last time. Or was it Treyarch? No, it had been. I think it was Activision. And um, now I know with this, I mean, not, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Last, you know, last game, Black Ops 3, which was amazing. You know, I loved it. The story mode was great. It had co-op story mode. It had co-op zombies, you know, obviously. It had not couch um, split screen and all that. That's what I want in this one. As long as they have that, I don't care how bad it is. As long as they have co-op story mode, split screen zombies, if they do zombies, they don't have to have zombies, but split screen multiplayer at least. Offline, and I'm fine. I know they're going to have online. I, I know that without a doubt. And another thing they can they can do is an online portion to the campaign. That would be pretty cool. Um, I know you're basically just sitting here staring at a screen that says game news, but I don't really know what else to provide you. There you go. There's another picture for you. But anyways... I just, I think that would be cool. Co-op, freaking online story mode. Keep the offline co-op story mode, but add an online portion to it. That's fucking awesome. At least I think it would be. Pardon my language. But anyways, you know, there, there's, if you like, if you like this video, let me know, and we'll do more videos like this. We'll do a preview for. Every video game we can think about that's about to come out. You know, we can preview it, I can talk about it, and then you can tell me in the comments if, yeah, that looks good, or, no, nah, man, that, look, that looks like it's going to be bad. And honestly, just judging by the screenshots and the videos that I've seen in this video, what do you think this game is going to get a rating? Not, I know it's going to get an M rating, most likely, but I'm talking about like, out of 10, like Game Informer, they give so-and-so out of 10. What do you think this game is going to get? Me, I think it's going to get about a 9. About an 8.5 to a 9. Because that's pretty much what most, what most Call of Duties get. Now, when it comes to the remastered version of Call of Duty 4, what do I think about that? Well, it's Call of Duty 4 remastered. I mean, there's nothing really else to say about it. Except for the fact that there's only 10 maps instead of the 16 in multiplayer that there used to be. That could be a problem, because if they don't have the 10 good ones, if they have like 4 or 5 of the good ones and some of the bad ones, I could be pretty pissed. But to be honest with you, I don't, I don't really know. I never really played Call of Duty 4 online. I played Call, the shit out of Call of Duty 4 um, story mode. And... Yeah. Now, I know they want to stay true to the game, but if they add bots into the, you know, into the uh, offline multiplayer mode, I would be really happy with that. I'd be ecstatic with that, to be honest with you. And just add a little bit more to the multiplayer mode. And ha have an option where you can play it as classic, or have the option where you can play it as modern. I mean, that's my idea on that. I mean, they're probably pretty far into it now that they can't go back and change any of that. They probably already got that done. But anyways, you know, that's all being said. You know, just tell me what you think about it. What do you think this game is going to get rated? Um, just what do you think about the game in general? I mean, I don't want any people being like, oh, Halo's going to be better and something like that. I don't even know if there's another Halo game coming out. But don't be, don't get on as a Halo fan and just start talking shit about Call of Duty. I mean, that's just immature. There's no point in that. So if you don't like Call of Duty, just don't get on and don't talk about it. But anyways, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love your feedback. This has been Dr. Chaos. I thank all you guys for watching this video. i see all you guys in the next one.